it seems like a Hero Quest retail release is imminent, and in this video, I'll be showing the signs of that and explaining why I think this is the case. But first, I found something interesting that Avalon Hill posted on Instagram. They've been sharing a few pictures these past couple days. The first is something that we've seen before, it's just the box art, nothing new there. Then we got a close up of Return of the Witch Lord's box art. This looks very nice, and it's a high definition compared to the other pictures that we've seen of this expansion. Then we get the Return of the Witch Lord tiles. These look really nice and they're actually kind of hard to distinguish from the originals. Obviously there's still the size difference, but the art style on these looks very close to the original and I think fans are going to be really thankful for that. Like comparing these to the old ones, even this big ring has the same mechanics and everything. I'm happy about that. Then we got the Witch Lord picture which we've seen, close up of Keller's Keep box art, showing the dwarf's face while he's trying to swing his axe into that big gargoyle. The dragon venom which we saw, as well as the tavern that Joe was talking about for his Cryptic Perpetual Darkness expansion. And finally, we got pictures of three spells. This first one is Lightning Bolt, the second one is Firestorm, and the third one is Cloud of Chaos. Here are the old equivalents of those cards as well. As you may have remembered, a couple months ago there was this mysterious EB Games pre-order which is now replaced by the GameStop one with a slightly different date. That was the first one that we saw. But, over the past month or so, there have been dozens of others popping up, and there's some interesting differences between them including different languages and even the Frozen Horror expansion. Now I'm going to go over a couple notable ones, thanks to you slash Yezik on Reddit for this huge list that's been compiled of all these different pre-order lists by the country. You can see Australia has a bunch, same with Belgium, which one is in English, one is in French because French is their official language. Then we have some for Canada, some for Denmark, some for Finland, some for France, Italy, Greece, Lithuania, Norway, Spain, Sweden, and there's just a lot here. Since first recording this video, he's updated the Reddit post as well to include a couple extra things, reference codes for sites, the UPCs and SKUs, as well as a universal distributor, with the release date supposedly being November 1st this year. Okay, so on the Spanish website Dungeon Marvels, this is where we first saw the Frozen Horror expansion. You can see here what they have is Hero Quest, the main box, then they have Return of the Witch Lord, Keller's Keep, we knew those existed, but there is also Frozen Horror, which is a placeholder image at the moment. And the approximate release date is August 31st, 2022. Maybe we'll find out at PulseCon if this thing is real, but until it's confirmed, I would maybe hold off from buying it from a website that you don't trust. It's still interesting nonetheless. According to the Goblin King on Ye Old Inn, the Frozen Horror expansion is in fact real because he's the one that set up the webpage for that particular website. He says, I can 100% confirm that Frozen Horror is in fact coming, as I have personally co-created the product page for the store where I work. Retail stores have received very little info though. There's no description, content list, or box art as of yet. It's expected to release around August 2022. We're selling it at 460 DKK, $73 American I would assume. And that image that we saw is a placeholder by him. Cosmic Games, which is an Italian company, made a tweet about HeroQuest as well, but they deleted it saying that they were maybe too eager for the announcement. And so that's another indication that makes me think this is an official thing. One more to look at is Lotremonde, which is the French company operating in Belgium. And according to a response on their Facebook post about this game, here's what they had to say. Hello, HeroQuest game edited by Hasbro Avalon Hill will be released in French during December according to their schedule. This is the basic box only, with extensions normally scheduled for 2022. The recommended editor price of the game is 150 euros, including the pre-order is going to be 125, including tax. Given the huge demand for the game for years, feel free to pre-order today. There will be several productions of the box according to Hasbro, but we suspect the first wave of release will be sold quickly on pre-order. The reason why I think that this is a pre-order and not just people reselling their Hasbro Pulse purchases is for two factors. The first is that supposedly the game is going to be translated in other languages. The Hasbro Pulse version was only available in English. Going along with this is that Hasbro has acquired the trademark for HeroQuest in Spain and in the EU. Previously these were owned by different people, but now that Hasbro's acquired it, it seems like they have the capabilities to do a worldwide release. The second factor is that the Frozen Horror expansion was offered on a couple of these websites, and right now that doesn't exist unless you're looking at the old 1990 version. 
there's a Reddit post here, somebody was asking about review copies and NDAs. With us backers getting our sets being so close, I don't think that Hasbro would want to send out review copies just so the influencers get their sets a week early. It doesn't make sense when people are going to be uploading those types of videos for free in a couple weeks after they ship it anyways. At the moment, this is all the unofficial HeroQuest news that I have, and I'm hoping that at PulseCon, at the very latest, I can tell you that this is official news. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give me a like and a sub, because that really helps me out. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.